Starfield is probably best known for being the game that is preventing us from getting the Elder Scrolls 6 faster, and will probably release by the time deep space travel becomes commercialized, and then a millennium or two afterwards the Elder Scrolls 6 will release, but enough low-hanging fruit. This game is never going to come out, jokes. Let's talk Starfield. It will apparently release on September 6, 2023. Let's see how well this video ages. I can see the comments laughing about how it was pushed to November or even into 2024 and how this speech aged like milk. Drinker. That was a Nord joke, by the way, but back to Starfield, the Enwas at Bethesda missed a big opportunity off the bat. The game could have been called Moon and Starfield and featured me, Nerevar, the Ash Slave astronauts, and the Redoran robots. Instead, it's just Starfield, which sounds like a fetching cosmic farm or something. Actually, it sounds like something the Dwemer would call a farm, or a library, or a dining room. I don't know. The Dwemer were weird, man. Maybe this entire game is merely about what happened to them after that red mountain. Damn it, I promised myself I wouldn't bring it up. You know what I mean. Anyway, this game will have one million planets. Or a thousand. Or a little over one thousand planets. So, knowing Bethesda, one thousand one. There are only four main cities. Even the mongrel dogs of the Empire have more with nine. Which concerns me. You have less than half the cities of what the silly Imperials can muster up with their terrible construction skills. I hope the cities are as big as Vivek City, but without the bad qualities of the character it's named after, or the over-the-top sewer system which takes up like half the city. How one city can be 70% sewer is beyond me. Although Riften is a little like that too, I really hope a good chunk of the planets have handcrafted quests and environments. Please don't tell me I'll be saving settlements for Space Cowboy Companion Droid Prestonius Garvmore 3000, or collecting 700 ice shards from frozen planets for the Galaxy Survival Guide that Myra Black sent me on. That's a pun on Moira Brown, to be clear. Give me interesting quests where I fight aliens or get involved in smuggling those skooma drug fishes out of neon. I wonder what happens if you take a bunch of those drug fish things. Can you fly across the stars without a spaceship at that point? Or do you just die or perhaps are haunted by Todd Howard ranting about the chess club and climbable mountains for three hours? There's also spaceship customization in this game and you can gather a crew. I will certainly run a tight ship powered by the heart of Lorcan. Mundus along with Masser and Secunda have to be out there somewhere. I might just chill at Dagothur, the building for the entire game if that's the case. Yes, I'm aware there's a whole galaxy out there, and I'm just returning home, but who can blame me? It's cozy, and we have sweet rolls and Sujama on tap. Or, I might just go back to my parents. There's that perk you can get where they are alive and well, for those who don't want to turn the game into a Batman simulator, I guess. They siphon money from you, though, but they won't do that to me. How can you siphon a monthly stipend off a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. Oh, who am I kidding? Not even a god can stop that. I'm going to be broke even in the endgame. I hope the main story is good. I assume it will be about discovering sentient aliens. They could be Dwemer or maybe Zettons. Let's face it, we're at least getting a Nernroot cameo, so we might as well throw in a smorgasbord of Bethesda references at this stage. This game will live and die on its Easter eggs. We all know that. Overall, get hyped, I would say, but also be prepared to never see this game in your lifetime. I hope future generations will enjoy this game and the other games of BGS because everyone watching this video certainly won't. I'm ending on that bleak note, and I don't care. Time to pre-order this game and prepare myself for the day one glitches.